It's a tiny shop to change the LA bagel scene one crunchy bite at a time. Did you hear that crunch? I literally just landed in LA and I came straight to Courage Bagels. Courage Bagels has been described as one of the best bagels in America. So we wanted to find out what made them so delicious. I'm the Bob Woodward of bagels and I'm on the case. And discovered the success of Courage Bagels has surprised even owners Chris and Ariel Moss. It's crazy. Ariel's super competitive. We aim high, we aim high always. What do you say to people who say there's no way you could beat a New York bagel? We're definitely not trying to beat New York bagels. We just wanted to try to make our own thing that we love. We want to make our dream bagel. And by all accounts, the dream of making incredible bagels with the freshest ingredients has become a reality. Is this what you intended to create? We dreamt that, that we would create something like this. I think it's better than our dreams. Courage Bagels is number one. I'm from New York. I thought New York bagels were the best ever. They've come a long way since making bagels as a hobby at home in 2016, then selling them on the street from a bicycle cart. I started just exploring bread and baking. It was so simple, but also so complex and lovely. And one day I woke up and it was just like, I'm going to make bagels today. And then we never stopped. It was an impressive hustle. Like she would ride around. It was courageous. It was a kind of an amazing thing to watch her go out on the street and pull up at a light next to someone in their cards. Bagels, you know. I was like, Is that why it's called courage? Yes. Because it took a lot of courage for you to do this. Yeah. Also, I needed to find my courage, build my courage. Yeah. That commitment has paid off. Long lines of people from around the corner and many from around the world often wait more than an hour to get their fix, including most weekends when I'm home, me and our kids. Someone Israel just came from Australia and she was like, I came yeah. to come here. And we're like, pressure. Just to come to the get a bagel? <laughs> yes. And that must feel like a lot of pressure. Right? Some of our favorite customers are definitely the locals and also people who, who just kind of wandered in. But when you see the line stretched down almost to the next block, what does that line mean to you? More often than not, we hear stories that people are meeting people in line. They're having fun. It's part of the experience. An experience that comes at a price. This is a $13 half bagel. This one is nine, and this entire bagel costs 19. Well, real food is very expensive to produce. We try to always keep things on the menu that are accessible to everyone. You know, something that's $5, $4, $7. Uh, you can get a pretty solid meal. You can see through the window, you're boiling the bagels and you're baking the bagels. But is it fair to say that there's a little bit of a secret recipe going on here? Oh yeah. 100%. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> yeah. well, it's... While they remain tight-lipped about recipes, Chris and Ariel invited me to join their hardworking team in the kitchen. They're letting me do what nobody else gets to do. I'm going behind the scenes and making a bagel myself. Don't crush it. Gentle. Don't crush it. Gentle. From boiling the dough. Well, I don't know about that one, but I think it's okay. Then adding the secret season topping on the signature burnt everything bagel. Rain shower. To witnessing a masterpiece come straight out of the oven. Oh, yeah. Great. Bravo, bravo. Yes. Look at this bagel you made. You made this. It's just absolutely oh, glowing. It smells delicious. I'm going to keep it simple. It's insanely delicious. I'm probably going to go there as soon as we're off the air. Next time you guys are in L.A., come on out, please. All right, Don. Yeah. Yeah. Get I'd us like the to hook have up. Them here. We'll have to eat that. They look delicious. They yeah, really I can't do. Can't wait. So good.